There are a lot of things that we still don't know about our past. Today, we continue to find ancient artifacts that make us question what we knew about long ago. While we have come a long way in understanding most of them, some things continue to confuse archaeologists and researchers all around the world. In this video, we'll show you some ancient artifacts that aren't what they seem. From the Antikythera mechanism to the light bulbs of ancient Egypt, here are 15 ancient artifacts claimed to be from the future. Number 15. Antikythera Mechanism This is the Antikythera Mechanism. It was found among the wreckage of a shipwreck off the coast of the Greek islands where it stayed for thousands of years under the sea until it was discovered in 1901. The mechanism consists of three flat and misshaped pieces of bronze, which soon turn green after being left underwater for thousands of years. You might think that the artifact is just a rock covered with mold and moss, but upon closer inspection, it's not hard to believe that it came from the future. It looks too sophisticated and modern for it to have been crafted thousands of years ago. For decades, scholars and researchers tried to uncover the secrets of this artifact. It looks like a large gear, but for what? And how did the ancient Greeks manage to come up with such a great piece of ancient technology? We already know that this civilization is among the most well-known and advanced, but the Antikythera truly is baffling. Today, it's generally believed that the Antikythera mechanism is an analog computer that was used to predict astronomical positions and eclipses for the next decades. Remember, the ancient Greeks managed to create this artifact even though its design and purpose are a bit ahead of their time. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now. Number 14. Rosetta Stone You're probably wondering how a huge piece of stone managed to land in this video. The Rosetta Stone isn't just like any other stone. The Rosetta Stone is about 3 feet and 8 inches high at its highest point, about 3 feet wide, and weighs over 1,600 pounds. The stone was inscribed with a decree that was passed in Memphis, Egypt back in 196 BC. The inscription was written in three versions. One was written in Ancient Greek, Ancient Egyptian, and Demotic scripts. Originally, this stone was found in Egypt. However, its origins are now blurred because of the many years that have passed. Today, it isn't on its original land. Rather, it's been in the possession of the British Museum since 1802. So why exactly is this stone so important? The Rosetta Stone helped researchers and scholars all around the world to learn a dead language that would have been forgotten. You see, the Rosetta Stone is just one of the several rare artifacts that contain inscriptions written in several scripts. At the time, researchers didn't know anything about Egyptian hieroglyphics, and so they were at a standstill. But thanks to the Rosetta Stone, they managed to get a sliver of hope. At the time, no one knew how to read and decipher demotic or hieroglyphics, but some scholars knew Greek. Since the inscription is written in three languages, researchers were able to decode the message. The inscription states a decree passed by a council of priests at the time of the 13-year-old pharaoh Ptolemy V. Number 13. Ancient Nokia Phone All right, let's face it. This artifact can't be any other than a Nokia phone, and you can't tell me otherwise. As you can see in the photo, the artifact may be completely covered with mold, but you can visibly see its resemblance to the outdated but classic Nokia phone. We can all agree that the durability of a Nokia can easily beat that of a rock, but who knew that there were ancient Nokia phones back then? And I bet some of you might say that Nokia phones can already be considered ancient, but I'm talking about a Nokia that's more than 2,000 years old. Instead of the usual keypad symbols, a Sumerian writing known as the cuneiform is written on the stone's quote-unquote numpad. This alleged discovery swept the internet in 2015 and continues to resurface several times in different online forums. Is this evidence of a really advanced civilization? Or could this be a product of a time traveler that went back in time to share their knowledge? The ancient phone was allegedly found in Austria, and there are claims that this artifact was dated to around 13th century BCE. The lack of information regarding this artifact led many to believe that it was just a hoax. However, tablets with cuneiform inscriptions are fairly common. After all, it is the earliest known Mesopotamian script that was invented in Sumer or present-day Iraq or Iran. That may be the case, but the similarities of this artifact to a phone are uncanny. Number 12. Ancient Greek Laptop We're all fairly dependent on our gadgets nowadays. We use them to finish our daily tasks more efficiently and effectively. Today, 
Many of us even find it necessary to have our laptops or phones with us almost 24-7 to perform our tasks at work. After all, in this modern era where social media spreads news quicker than anything, many of us can't afford to be out of the loop. So take a look at this Greek sculpture and tell me what you're seeing. Doesn't it look like a woman looking at a laptop being carried by her attendant? Thousands of people have noticed this strange resemblance, and many theories immediately popped out of the sculpture. This Greek sculpture was put on display at the Getty Museum in California, and it's estimated to date back to 100 BC. It's no question that the sculpture is immaculately made, but what exactly is the attendant holding? Many believe it's a laptop, and if you look closely, you can even see two holes at the bottom which look like charging ports. Could this really be yet another piece of evidence that the ancient Greeks were far more advanced than we thought? Or are we all overthinking this, and the attendant is just presenting a shallow box to her lady? Let me know what you think in the comments. Number 11. Egyptian Hieroglyphics It's no surprise that the ancient civilizations that preceded us have incredible inventions that we couldn't even fathom. It's time to acknowledge that they may have led a far more advanced lifestyle than us, their modern descendants, at least relative to their time. Just take a look at this photo. Do you notice anything in the symbols in the picture? Don't these two symbols look like modern-day aircraft to you? These are the 3,000-year-old hieroglyphics found in Seti I's temple in Abydos, Egypt. For many conspiracy theorists, this is solid proof that the ancient Egyptians knew about helicopters and planes many years before they even existed. And of course, there are also theories that this can be an alien spacecraft. Because of the symbols, this has been known as the helicopter hieroglyphics. If you really think about it, Leonardo da Vinci conceptualized a helicopter long before it existed, but that's incomparable to ancient people knowing about modern technology that was made thousands of years after them. Number 10. Egyptian Pyramids Since we're already in Egypt, let's talk about the next most popular subject of conspiracy theories, the pyramids. Aside from their sheer size and great architecture, People from all around the world admire the pyramids because of how arduous it would have been just to create them. Can you imagine modern humans building these huge sculptures without using any modern machinery? If someone even attempts to do so, I doubt that anyone will be up to take the challenge. The pyramids are tombs that contain the final resting places of the great pharaohs that once ruled the ancient civilization. It's also believed that the pyramids are built for religious purposes. However, there is also a theory that suggests that the Pyramid of Giza was an ancient power plant. I bet you didn't expect that. There are a few reasons why many believe this theory. First, unlike the other pyramids in Egypt, the Pyramid of Giza doesn't contain any tomb, and despite its size, the interior of the pyramid is unlike the others. The only thing ever found in this pyramid is an empty sarcophagus with no owner. There are also no inscriptions inside the pyramid that suggest for whom the pyramid was built. They also allegedly found gold wiring that ran throughout the pyramid, making it a huge circuit board. The science and nitty-gritty of the theory are still unclear, but one thing is for sure. If the ancient Egyptians really somehow managed to conceptualize the pyramid to become a huge battery or power plant, they will be hailed as one of the greatest civilizations in the world, more than they already are recognized today. Number 9. Map from the Future we're all familiar with what the world looks like today, the continents, the countries, and the oceans. Today, creating a map is fairly easy. In fact, with modern technology, maps are now integrated into our mobile devices. And with GPS, it's guaranteed that you'll have no problem reaching your destination. But it wasn't always this easy. Hundreds of years ago, maps were precious creations, only created by experts. One map in particular proved to be interesting. In 1929, Gustav Diesmann, a German theologian, was cataloging antique items at the Topkapi Palace Library in Istanbul when he came across a piece of parchment that's now known as the Piri Rees map. Why is this map so special? You see, the map had been drawn in 1513 and it depicted the continents in a very surprising way. The map appears to show Antarctica almost 300 years before it was discovered, and instead of drawing it as a white frozen land, it was simply drawn as a landmass, the very same landmass it appeared to be over 6,000 years ago. Many scholars have immediately been intrigued by the map, and upon further observation, scholars have noticed that the map had been drawn using the Mercator projection, 
which is a method of drawing that wasn't used by European cartographers until the late 16th century. So how exactly did the cartographer behind this map manage to utilize it? And how did he manage to draw Antarctica before it was covered in ice? Perhaps this map will lead us to many more discoveries about the civilization that preceded us. Number 8. 2000 Year Old Bike To put it out there, bikes have been around for a long time, but it was originally invented in 1817. Inventor Carl von Dreis is credited with developing the first bicycle, and when his invention first hit the road, it was initially called the Swift Walker. A pretty accurate name, I would say. Today, it's seen as a common mode of transportation, but how would you react if you saw a thousand-year-old statue riding a bicycle? This is the photo found by an anonymous person on the wall of an ancient 2,000-year-old temple in India. There's no denying that the statue really is sitting on a bicycle. You can clearly see the person depicted in the statue holding the two handlebars of the bicycle, and of course, the two wheels of the vehicle. Could it be that our ancestors made use of bicycles before us? There is one detail that made this statue a bit suspicious. All of the officials at the temple have no idea how this statue came to be. No one knows its origin, when exactly it appeared, and how old it is. Number 7. Ancient Astronaut It's commonly thought that most of the unexplainable inventions created by our ancestors aren't actually created by them, but by another life form. The ancient Egyptians in particular are usually associated with extraterrestrial creatures, but we still don't have any solid proof of any alien-human interaction to date. There are a lot of things we don't know about space, and we only took a giant leap in exploring space in 1969, when Commander Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin reached the moon for the very first time. So many were baffled when experts discovered this astronaut carved into a church that was built sometime in the 1600s. If you take a closer look, there's no denying that the carving really is an astronaut, but it just doesn't make sense that people at the time knew about astronauts. If this really is what we think, then there are only two possibilities. People back then understood more than we thought, or there really was an ancient astronaut at the time. Of course, there's also the chance that this is a hoax. What do you think? Number 6. Designer Handbags Handbags are seen as a fashion item by some, but for some people, handbags are a necessity. Who would have thought that the ancient civilizations had handbags during their time? And I'm not just talking about ordinary handbags. There are apparently designer ones. Take a look at these photos. You can clearly see different depictions of handbags across carvings in cultures from different cultures. These handbags or purses can be seen in the ruins of ancient Turkish temples, ancient remains in New Zealand, Egypt, and several parts of Central America. How cool is that? Number 5. Hampi Pillars I would say that this is one of the most interesting discoveries so far. Did you know that in the Vijaya Vitala temple in Hampi, India, there are 56 pillars that can produce sounds? Yep, you heard that right. They're not just any other sound, but rather, they sound like delicate musical notes. The temple is recognized as a UNESCO World Heritage Site, and it continues to surprise people for more than 500 years. You don't even need to hit the pillars with any hard object. Just gently tapping it using your hands will do. The architecture of India is nothing less than amazing, and their temples are usually adorned with incredible carvings with immense intricacy. But this creation is on a whole other level. This led many to believe that they had some sort of assistance from someone that's more knowledgeable about acoustics and architecture. We might never know the secret behind these singing pillars, but the fact that they exist is already an amazing feat. And now it's time for today's topic. Take a look at this photo. This appears to be an aircraft, and this could be one of the early prototypes. As I've said earlier, it's no surprise that people in the past managed to conceptualize and even build inventions that are far more advanced for their time. But from time to time, we discover things that came from the past that make us think that these ancient civilizations got some help from a creature that's far more knowledgeable than them. We keep finding strange things from our past, and these discoveries continue to change our initial understanding of the people that precede us. If anything, these discoveries just made them more incredible. As always, comment down below with the hashtag today's topic and let us know your opinion about what we just showed on screen. With that said, let's keep things moving. Number 4. Ancient iPhone I already talked about an ancient Nokia phone, so let me now show you an ancient iPhone. 
What you're looking at is allegedly a 2,000-year-old iPhone that was found in a grave of an old woman in Russia. The phone looks similar to a smartphone, and it's made of black gemstone jet rock. It's also embedded with several precious stones. Despite being dubbed as an ancient iPhone, I think it's a bit of a stretch, considering that it looks like an ornate piece than a functional one. Perhaps after more research, we'll find out what this ancient iPhone actually is. Number 3. Baghdad Battery Electricity is one of the best things we enjoy today. Without electricity, we wouldn't be able to progress and advance as quickly and as efficiently. Just imagine how the ancient civilizations would have utilized electricity if they knew about it back then. Did they even know about the concept of electricity, power, and energy? It seemed impossible until archaeologists discovered the Baghdad battery. This artifact is believed to be about 2,000 years old, and it was discovered in Kujut Rabu just outside Baghdad. The artifact consists of a clay jar and a stop made of asphalt. For many years, scholars scratched their heads wondering about the purpose of the artifact, until they arrived at a conclusion. Strangely enough, if the artifact is filled with vinegar or any other electrolytic solution, the jar produces about 1.1 volts. It's not much energy, and it barely amounts to anything, but it is incredible to think that perhaps this ancient artifact was created to be a substitute for a modern-day battery. Not much is known about the Baghdad battery. There are also no written records found regarding the function of the jar, but several pieces of evidence are already pointing that the artifact is indeed an ancient battery. Number 2. Chicken Itza The Chicken Itza is a Mayan ruin near Cancun in Mexico. It's visited by many not only because of its beauty, but also because of its impressive architecture. It remains to be one of the most visited archaeological sites in Mexico, and it shows the incredible story of the ancient Maya civilization. There are many conspiracies surrounding this pyramid because of its features. Aside from its structure and position, this pyramid can also create a bizarre sound. Thousands of people often visit the pyramids annually just to clap their hands at the base of the staircase of the pyramid. If they do so, an echo will soon ring through the air, which sounds like a flock of birds or a chorus of chirps. It is truly a mesmerizing sound, and this is something that's not seen in any other archaeological discoveries. It was said that during ceremonies, the Maya priest would face the pyramid and clap to create a booming sound. This left many people to wonder how exactly did they manage to accomplish such an incredible structure. Is it a coincidence? Skill? Or did they learn how to accomplish such a feat after being taught by someone knowledgeable about modern-day architecture and acoustics? The sound the pyramid creates might not be a coincidence. After all, it mimics the call of a local bird called the Quetzal, a beautiful bird with an array of green and red feathers. For the ancient Maya, these birds, along with the snake, are considered to be divine. What do you think? Did the ancient Maya get help from someone from the future? Or did they perhaps already have a glimpse of the future long before it happened? I would say that they constructed the pyramids through sheer skill. But let me know your thoughts in the comments. Number 1. Light Bulbs of Ancient Egypt This is the Dendera light, and it's one of the hottest topics among scholars, pseudo-archaeologists, and of course, conspiracy theorists. Looking at this photo, what do you think is the object these people are carrying? The most common theory is that this carving depicts an ancient light bulb with a tube coiling inside. This carving is depicted in an ancient Egyptian temple dedicated to the goddess Hathor. Many believe that the Dendara light worked similar to a crook's tube, with a socket and a cable running underneath, considering the number of things the ancient Egyptians accomplished. I wouldn't be too surprised if they managed to engineer such an object. However, logically thinking, it is impossible, unless the ancient Egyptians possessed knowledge of modern light bulbs. Despite the theories about the Dendara symbol being a light bulb, many Egyptologists interpret it differently. Many believe that the so-called lamp is nothing but a lotus flower which can be linked to Egyptian mythology. According to the creation myth of ancient Egyptians, a lotus flower was said to have given birth to the sun god Adum Ra, modern light bulb, or a lamp-like flower. I'll leave the judgment up to you. Do you think some of these ancient artifacts came from the future? And do you know of any other archaeological discoveries that can support the theory that some ancient civilization somehow got a hold of futuristic items? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on the screen right now. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.